Hey everybody, it's Ty Inspire and let's talk adventures in travel. The one thing that comes to mind is I tried, and maybe to some people this is not going to be so cool, <laughs> but I tried snake vodka. Yes, I said it, snake vodka in Vietnam. Now I believe I can be all I dream, the connection to destiny is me. So what's the coolest thing I've ever done while traveling? Hmm, I don't know. There, there are probably a few things, but the one thing that comes to mind is I tried, and maybe to some people this is not gonna be so cool, <laughs> but I tried snake vodka. Huh? Yes, I said it, snake vodka in Vietnam. I was in the Mekong Delta to be exact, and there was literally a snake, a dead snake that was in this vodka. And so I'm really not an adventure eater. I, I don't really do that. So I was even shocked that I would be willing to do something like this, <laughs> to be honest. But I, I don't know, I just went for it. I was like, you know what? I like vodka, let's try it. <laughs> and it was, it was good. It just, it really just tastes like vodka, honestly. So. That would have to be one of the, uh, I should say high on my coolest things list. So, definitely. <laughs> what has been the most memorable mistake that I have made? It would have to be when I ended up in the wrong city. Okay, okay, so it really went like this. I was booking um, my trip to Vietnam. This also was Vietnam. And I wanted to go to the beach. So I wanted to go to Hoi An. Hoi An, which is a beach town in Vietnam. So I was gonna go to Ho Chi Minh, which was the city, which is something I always do. Um, if I have time, if I can, I try to go to at least two cities in a country. So I wanted to see the city and I wanted to go to the beach. So I was supposed to go to Hoi An and I ended up booking it for Hanoi. Okay, so very, very similar, but definitely not the same place. Yeah, so um, I, I realized it before I got there. So that's the good thing, but it was definitely well after I booked the trip and I was preparing and I'm looking at my itinerary and I'm like, What's this? Where is this? I don't even know where this is. Like, what am I doing? So, um, yeah, I booked the wrong place. But guess what? I enjoyed Hanoi. I'm so glad that I went to Hanoi, honestly. It was so, so much fun. I had so much fun. So, and I got to see a lot of things that I don't think I would have seen had I gone to the beach in Hoi An. So, but I'm going back. So I will do Hoi An next time. <laughs> The thing that I have done that I regret the most while traveling would have to be my trip to Thailand. When I went to Bangkok for the first time, I've been to Bangkok now, I think two, two times. So the first time I went, I was really a new traveler and I just didn't know, I just didn't have a lot of information about certain things. So one of the things I wanted to do was ride the elephants. So I, I thought it was a good idea. And yeah, it definitely was not a good idea. First of all, elephants are huge. They were a lot bigger than I thought they were. So I was like all amped, like ready to get on this elephant. And when I got in front of it, I literally freaked out. I was like, I can't do it. it was so so big and um, it was so so tall you know so I was like looking at the ground looking at this elephant I'm like this ain't gonna happen so I, I had to tell them like 
give me a minute. It took me a while, so I took some time, but then I went ahead and got on, but I still, like, it was not a good idea. First of all, these elephants are being mistreated, at least the ones that I rode in Thailand. I think that that is the case for the majority of elephants that are in captive situations where they are being made to ride and, and those type of things. Um, so I got on the elephant and it was a friend that was also with me. She met me there in Thailand and we did some things together. And so we got on the elephant and we were both terrified. So we really just didn't enjoy the ride at all. There was this little bitty lady jumped on this elephant to guide it for us. So she was on the elephant and she had a screwdriver that she kept sticking the elephant with to make it go the way she wanted it to go. And so I was like, why do you keep sticking? Why do you keep doing that to the elephant? I'm yelling at her. And she's yelling at the elephant, just sticking it with this screwdriver. There was blood. And I was just like so scared because I'm like now on this elephant and I'm freaked out by that. It was just a horrible experience. Next thing you know, the elephant saw some hay and she was trying to get it to go one way and she gets off of the elephant to do something and the elephant takes off takes off with me and my friend on it. I thought I would die. <laughs> so it's going this way, it's headed towards the hay or whatever because it just wants to go and do its thing and eat. And that's what it did. And so, um, yeah, needless to say, once that was over, I was very, very happy that that was over. The next part of this same Thailand trip, I thought it was a good idea to go and see the tigers. So I was like, oh, you can have these cool experiences with tigers. You can take pictures with them. And so I did. So I went, I took pictures with them. You could like walk them and pet them and all this. And so it was, it was cool. I mean, I was, it was a little scary. I'm not gonna lie. But later on, I realized that they are being drugged. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think about this before, but like I said, I was kind of a young traveler. I just wanted to do things and have some adventure and I wasn't thinking. And so, um, yeah, it was something that later, once I really found out how these animals have been treated, I was very, very, very sad that I did it. Um, and come to find out a few, late, a few years later, I found out that those same two places that I went were raided and shut down. So I think that's a good thing because they needed to be. And so now they no longer exist. And I went back to Thailand to try to redeem myself <laughs> because I felt so bad. So I wanted to try to redeem myself and go to um, like a, a elephant sanctuary where they actually care for elephants that cannot be out in the wild and you can, you know, bathe in them and take care of them and feed them. So I wanted to do that um, and I went to the northern part of Thailand on a second trip later to try to do that but something else happened. I was injured in, this was the, another trip, I was injured on a trip before that so when I got there I couldn't do it, if that makes sense, yeah. But anyway, that's my moment that I regret, definitely. The most exciting adventure that I have had while traveling would have to be when I went to Boracay, the Philippines, and I went zip lining. Yes, I love zip lining, guys. Like, it's so much fun. <laughs> and I was so afraid, but I was like, I'm gonna do this. Now, this zip line was not a joke, okay? I've seen and I've done other zip lines since then and they're, they're nothing compared to this one. This one was literally almost across the whole island. It was long and the view was like amazing. So once I kind of got, once I got on and got over the fear, I was like, look at this view. We did the um, Superman one too. So it was like this, like on my stomach, like flying through the air. So it was so dope. <laughs> And I would love to go and do it again. So now when I see small zip lines, I'm like, I don't wanna do that. Like, 
come on, let's, we, we can do better than this. <laughs> so that was probably like the ultimate, but um, don't know if I'll experience it again, but it was definitely worth every minute of my time. And the Philippines is probably one of my favorite places that I've visited, so it's, it's pretty much number one. So yeah, that also helps. So the scariest experience that I've had while I was traveling um, would have to be, well, let me say, I'll say that it was, <laughs> it was in Bali. Uh, I was in Bali, again, a couple of my friends were with me and we were at this beautiful uh, Airbnb. It was just an Airbnb. I don't know if you have like, ever done any research on Bali um, but or you've seen any videos on Bali but people have like the most amazing places that they stay in Bali so I was looking for that experience when I was booking so I found this place it was gorgeous beautiful just beautiful so when we got there um, it was challenging to get there it was very like it was surrounded in rice paddies so and it was like at night, so it was dark. All you could see was rice paddies and hear frogs. That was it. And it was like this huge decline to get to this place. But when you got there, it was it was beautiful. So the first night I was there by myself and it was like huge. It was a big outdoor like place where, you know, they had the rooms that were indoors, but they had outdoor eating, they had a pool. It was all kind of stuff on the property. And so there was about three bedrooms and I was expecting two other friends to come. So I was there by myself the first night. I was cool. I got into the room. It was late. Maybe it wasn't too late. Maybe like six or seven o'clock in the evening. By the time I got there, I went straight into the room. And because it was such a big space, I just kind of hung out in my bedroom and that was it. Went to sleep because I was tired. The next morning I get up to this, just nice pool it's beautiful i'm taking pictures i'm enjoying life and my friends come and they also are like wow this is great I'm like yes i did it and nightfall happened all of a sudden the place literally turned into jurassic park i'm talking the hugest lizards you have ever seen they were just huge and they were everywhere it was not like one or two everywhere we lost it <laughs> let me just say it was so bad so it was lizards there were spiders there were frogs everything was just coming out and I think that because the night before I stayed in the room I didn't really see anything I had the blinds closed everything but literally the next day it was horrible we were running, screaming, trying to go from one to the next. It was just, it was all bad. It was all bad. Um, we ended up moving from that place. That was the only night. We barely stayed that night. We barely stayed that night. And it was Christmas. So it was, uh, yeah, it was not easy to move. But we, we found another place because we couldn't. It was just, it was too much. So that was my scary experience <laughs> the Jurassic Park Inn yeah top five words of wisdom here we go for travelers first thing is arrive during the day please whatever you do if you can especially if you're traveling solo arrive during the day I will have to go into that even more later, but I just want to give you some quick words of wisdom. Trust me, arrive during the day. Next, try something new. Don't go, I mean, you don't have to be super adventurous or you don't have to do something dangerous for it to be nice. Just try something that you don't normally do while you're away, well, you're traveling or you're on vacation. Use public transportation. If you want to save money, 
if you want to get a feel of the culture, of the people, of the city, you want to see things that you're not going to normally see, you definitely want to do this. Make sure you use public transportation whenever it is possible, okay? And don't be afraid to sleep in hostels. I am totally a hostel girl. I love them. I still would use them. Maybe I use them a little less now than I did before, but it's a great way to save money, a great way to meet new people and to get activities and activity ideas. So use hostels, think about it. And be team carry on. Please, like don't take all this luggage, guys. Team carry on, take a backpack, Take a small bag that you can put on the plane with you, especially nowadays, you have to pay for everything. So please, team carry on, it's gonna save you time, it's gonna save you stress. Don't try to be all glamorous. Go travel, have a good time, be adventurous, and love it. Until next time. Now I believe